Okay, we're gonna go ahead and start stage two and start working the background. So I'm gonna start off with my vine and I want this sphere to pop. So I wanna eliminate heavy outline. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to push a dark value and pull it behind the form using vertical and horizontal strokes, but I'm just placing those arrows there so you can see. So all these arrows here are showing the direction that that mid value or that dark value is gonna go around the form, okay? Take your blending stump and we wanna eliminate that horizontal line. I'm gonna actually add a little bit more vine here. Because if you have outlines, what's gonna happen is you are not gonna be creating the illusion of depth and your form is going to look flat. And so what we're trying to do is take our shape and make it into a form by creating the illusion of depth by using values. So you could see here, the form now is going to start to pop out. And here's our, our outline. You can turn your paper if it's easier to work. Turn your paper. Put some more vine, charcoal. And then I'm going in the opposite direction here. Okay. So you can see that highlight is now starting to pop. Now, I like using the compress to the very end uh, because if you use the vine and you go a little too dark, you can easily pick up and pull. Now I'm working uh, diagonal strokes here. I'm adding diagonal strokes there just to blend the charcoal a bit more. And you can use a tissue to blend. And I'm just using a circular motion that really gives you a nice, smooth texture. But going back to using the vine, um, if you go a little too dark, you can easily erase, easily blend. If you add the compressed charcoal, um, it, 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 it's a definitely a lot harder to erase. But I already know that this area here is going to be pretty dark. So I'm going to start laying in just a little bit of compressed here tiny bit and I'm gonna take my vine I'm sorry my uh, blending stump and pull and rework the charcoal so gradation here this is an example of poor gradation because you have a very light value and that dark uh, black here right along here and we want a nice even transition. So what can you do? What can you use? Well, you can use a Q-tip. You can continue to use the blending stump. You can use your tissue, a paper towel. It's gonna be up to you, but you need to make sure you don't have 
that outline and you are, your uh, values are transitioning. See that? And now what I'm doing is I'm just taking my tissue and I'm just kind of blotting, patting it down just a tad bit, just like that. Okay? So are you worried about this area here in the sphere? Well, we're going to continue to rework this area in the sphere. We're going to go into the next stage, um, which is going to be adding uh, this, the, the vine here in this area, and then also in the cast shadow, and then finally adding it right along the sphere. Okay, and this is going to pop.